This is Ling270, Language, Technology, and Society. Now let's take a look at the origins of writing. Specifically, we will now examine one of the early theories that attempted to explain how writing came to be as an early language technology. This is the pictographic theory of the origins of writing. The pictographic theory of the origins of writing was first proposed by William Warburton, an 18th century English scholar. Among his other works, Warburton published a nine-book treatise titled The Divine Legation of Moses. In Book 4, Warburton theorizes on the origins of the world's writing systems. In Book 4 of this treatise, Warburton writes, Men soon found out two ways of communicating with their thoughts to one another, the first by sounds, and the second by figures. The first and most natural way of communicating our thoughts by marks or figures is by tracing out the images of things. So the early people to express the idea of a man or a horse delineated the form of those animals. Thus, the first essay towards writing was a mere picture. According to this pictographic theory of the origins of writing, pictures gradually took on a more and more denotational significance. We can observe this in a picture of, on, the, on the right of a horse. Along the bottom of the picture, we see a sequence of seven symbols. The symbol on the far left is a pictographic depiction of a horse. The picture on the far right is the modern Chinese character for horse. Between the far left and the far right, we see a sequence of symbols becoming more and more abstract, looking less and less like a picture of a horse. The pictographic theory of the origins of writing went essentially unchallenged for more than 200 years. Let's now consider two important problems that the pictographic theory of language writing origins fails to successfully answer. The first problem is in regards to abstractions. While it's fairly straightforward to see how you can go from a picture of a horse to an abstract symbol of a horse, it's much harder to imagine abstract concepts following this same process. The pictographic theory of language origins fails to properly address the question, how do you represent abstract concepts? The second and more important problem with the pictographic theory of language origins is the lack of archeological evidence. One would expect archaeological evidence where the earliest examples of writing were the most pictographic in nature, according to this theory, with then a gradual change over time to less and less pictographic examples. When examining the archaeological record for ancient Mesopotamia, the civilization whose writing system we have the most early archaeological evidence for, one does not find this prediction to be borne out. Instead, very many of the earliest symbols appear to not be pictographic in nature. A clear example of this can be seen in the early Sumerian symbol for sheep. This symbol for sheep is very abstract and appears to bear no relationship to how a sheep might be depicted pictographically.
The pictographic theory of language origins was unchecked until the mid 20th century, when it was subsequently challenged by a new theory of language origins, token theory.